Hi, I'm here with Brian Soliday with I, uh, GPS, and he's got a very interesting device here that uh, captures imagery and data. But let me let him explain it to you. And uh, Brian? Thanks, Art. So what we have is uh, a product that we call Spike, and it's a, uh, a remote data capture and measurement solution that allows you to, uh, to use your smartphone or tablet, whether it's iOS or Android, to do remote data capture and measurement. So it's a pretty simple process. Well, the Spike device itself attaches to either a smartphone or a tablet, and then it allows me to, uh, to leverage the, the laser, and uh, it communicates to the Spike application via Bluetooth. So it's passing those uh, laser measurements to the device, to the application, excuse me, and then uh, I can do measurement capability, or measurements on the, uh, on the, on the, either on my desktop via cloud service or on my device itself. So there's a couple things I can do. I can do a what we call a photo measurement. So what we should do is turn it this way, and I'll show you. Sure. Okay. Tell me if I'm on. Okay. All right. So with the spike, if I select photo measurement, what it allows me to do is take a measurement of a of an object. So let's say I want to measure that column. I take that picture, open it up, and then the first thing it does is it asks me to create a. Uh, an alignment rectangle, which I can easily do here. And so what it's going to do is it's going to take and adjust uh, adjust my pixels to this alignment rectangle because you can see I wasn't necessarily straight perpendicular, I was a little oblique. So I create my alignment rectangle, I say next, then it takes and adjusts those pixels accordingly. I can then measure the whole column. I can uh, create a cutout, so if this happened to be a building and I wanted to uh, measure the whole facade, but I wanted to cut out a window, and you can see here at the bottom it gives me my total area with my cutout, okay? And then I can do things like length, so if I just want to measure, say, you know, from the ground, add that, from the ground to that point there, it gives me my length as well. I can save that, okay? And then I can ship that out to somebody else, save it as a PDF file for a report, whatever I want to do. Um, the other tool we have is what's called point to point. So this allows me to collect data. Let me just zoom in a little bit. Let's say I want to collect from a corner. So I need to hold it steady. Then it's going to turn to green when I'm ready to collect. Okay. So say from that point, and I may want to collect over to this point here. All right. It saves the image, and you can see there, it gives me my distance, it gives me my true horizontal, my true vertical, the angle, and the percentage, all right, between those, because it's dealing in true 3D space with the laser. So if I have a terrain I need to move uh, a group across, I can quickly do a, a point to point or do multi point to point and, uh, and quickly determine what the terrain, or what the slope of that terrain is. So it's a pretty simple process. Um, if I, I can save this. Um, one of the nice things about the, the, uh, the solution as well is we do have a, uh, a cloud-based measurement app. So I can actually have my team of surveyors or, or uh, assessment officers out in the field doing data collection on the device, taking photos, and then uploading and let somebody else do the measurement on their desktop with much larger screen real estate instead of having to use it on the, uh, on this, on the device itself. So if I go here to my gallery, I just bring up some of these images that we just did like this one here, and um, click there. You can see I can, I can save it as a PDF, as a spike file, which is an XML, a KMZ, uh, as just a photo, or I can upload to the cloud to do the measurement as well. So there's a wide variety of potential use cases and applications, uh, organizations that are using the product today, from insurance to real estate, um, defense intelligence, uh, local government in terms of uh, assessors, things like that. So pretty broad base. Basically anybody who needs to identify uh, assets in the field and update those assets as well. Now just to make sure that I understood, I know you were doing the relative measurements. Is there a, uh, a location? Like Correct. Yeah, so, so with every measurement I'm taking, it gives me my location as GPS and then uses the bearing and the distance from the device to give me the location of that. So if I save it as a KMZ file, when I open that KMZ file, it shows where I was standing, it shows the, the object I selected. When I click on that icon of the object, it'll bring up that photo as well. Okay. Thank you very much. You're Appreciate welcome. It.